Good morning guys, happy Saturday. It's Saturday the 10th of July. It's been a while since I picked up the camera and did one of these weekend vlogs. I think it's been a while since I had a weekend at home to be honest. I've either been working or I've been going to Walton Towers or all the other trips that you've seen. So yeah, thought I would try and do a weekend vlog. Not sure what the plans are this weekend, we'll see how it goes. We're supposed to be going out for breakfast just now. Um, and we'll see if we can get a table or not. Yeah, not sure what we're going to. And tomorrow we're going to go see David's grandma and get some fish and chips. But we'll take you with us, whatever we do. So we have just come for breakfast at the Oxford Road Cafe, waiting for David and Emily to arrive. Menu looks amazing. Wow, So I went for the full English. Got a side of French toast. And Harry's got the pancakes. Is it good, Harry? So this is the Oxford Road Cafe, just in the centre of Altrincham. Breakfast was lovely. It was so nice. Breakfast was lovely. Did you enjoy yours? Yeah, it was really nice. Um, didn't find the bill too expensive, so it was like £54 for the four of us, but we did order five meals, two coffees and three juices. Yeah, not a bad price really, and the food was lovely. The service was incredible. Absolutely, highly recommended. Um, um, considering we live in Altrincham, we have never been before, and we, we saw a friend, we saw a seashore vlog and Caroline go there, and Matt and Natalie from M&M World. <laughs> And that's what made us go even more. They found it before we did, and they live many miles away. So yeah, it was really nice. Um, I think we're gonna head off to Hobbycraft now because Emily needs some art supplies for her GCSE art. And um, yeah, might have a one if Nip in Sainsbury's too. Having a look around Hobbycraft. See what we can find. <laughs> Something so satisfying about pens. What? What? I always want to buy pens, Harry. Yeah, I say, I need, I don't have, I'm like the only person in my class who doesn't have like shop pens. Really? Tips. I, I, I have quite a lot of crayons as well. I just want to start painting now. Look at all these amazing colours. Back from the shops now and having lunch. Lunch was amazing. I know I said it before, or well, brunch. It was fabulous. David and I are going to try and tackle the front garden before the rain comes back. It is like a jungle because we've been at Towers so many times and everywhere else. And the only weekends we've had free, it's been raining. It's now like a jungle. I mean, a grass is ridiculous. And that hedge. I'm mainly going to try and tackle the hedge. Cut the grass. Yeah, not sure about that yet, but we'll try and get it sorted before the rain comes. Well, we almost beat the rain. Almost. Whoa, look how heavy it is in the back. Ah! <laughs> David, the power cable's still over there. Can I move it? No. Why? Don't get electrocuted. <laughs> Can you just give me <laughs> give me I go to that Let go of it. Uh. <laughs> Well, at least we managed to cut the hedge and cut the grass. I think anything else does though. Bit of blue sky up there, so hopefully the sun will come back out. See you right there. So we're all dry from the garden. We got a bit wet, didn't we? Yeah. And we're gonna do some cooking. Yay. Baking with Diane Harry. 
we got the unofficial Disney Parks cookbook in a giveaway from Aussie Robbo and English Gent. Oh, yeah. And we've been looking at this. And obviously, the first recipe we're doing is... Num cookies. Jack Jack's Num Num cookies. And it had to be, because it's... Yeah. And I it's amazing. You, no, you've not had one. You, you David, know. Emily and I had one when Harry went home, back to the home. It is home. Back to the resort. And we got one without him. So we are going to make these. The trouble with these, um, it's a Pixar Pier Disney California, it says, because it's all themed to all the Disney parks in each of the areas. So Disneyland, Hollywood Studios, Epcot, Magic Kingdom. And this one is supposed to be a Pixar Pier one. The recipes are interesting. They all are, it's an American cookbook. So it all comes in sort of like, <laughs> nothing's weighed. Everything's in cups or tablespoons. And there's stuff in here that we had to Google, like vegetable shortening. What was it? Just it's just a vegetable, like a bit like lard, but a veggie version. Oh, so where's the cheese in it? So I have already done the salt, the butter, no, salt, unsalted butter, and tablespoons of vegetable shortening, and that's in here. I'm assuming I'm doing that. So we've preheated our oven, and we need in a bowl with a mixer. We need butter and shortening, and we need to cream them together. Just means mix them together. Uh, Let's try and mix them together. Um. Oh. Stop! Hey, stop! That's going on, you've been framed. <laughs> Short break and a non broken thumb later. Yes. So sore. This is why on Blue Peter they say don't work with animals or children. Right, what's next? It says cream them together, add the brown sugar and the granulated sugar and beat for two minutes. So oh, beat me. I'm just gonna go and get the brown sugar and the granulated sugar. You like my cups? I got these for Christmas. Yeah. Well, they've come in handy now. So I need a quarter cup of brown sugar. It's not going to go very well. Oh, yum. Yep, put that in there. And then a quarter cup of granulated sugar. It's going to go in there. I I could not read that. Whoa, it looks like sugar. That's because it is sugar. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Beat. Not your mum. The bowl. Go. So we need half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then one egg. So we need your master skills. Mm. Mine. Those. Mine. Those. So, quarter, oh that's a silver. Is it a quarter teaspoon? Yeah, yeah, that's a bit too much there. Right, and then we'll do this egg. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. All right, get your beaters on. Excellent, that. Yeah, I need to. I need Excellent. your fingers to move away. Yeah, move my fingers this. away. Yeah. That was a cracking joke. Oh crack! <laughs> Try again. Baking soda, I think. So, how much flour is a three quarters of a cup? That's so. half a cup, and that's three quarters. We need that. Two, two of these cups. We need that's a half, that's a quarter, so that's three quarters. Yeah, I, I do not know that. Right. And the exact same. Yeah. Up and shake it off. 
she get uh, a new uh, 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 Copyright. Copyright? Oh, because my singing's that great. <laughs> <laughs> Put that in there. And then the baking soda and salt. How much baking soda do we need? That sounds amazing. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. That sound of... Shake it up. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. And then half a teaspoon of salt. I'll mix it all in. With a bit more effort. I can do effort. Two bags or one bag? Done. So Hang we on. need. What? This? So we need a cup of chocolate chunks. One cup. That's one cup of chocolate chunks. Right. Yeah, that's basically it. the entire thing there. One chuck, one cup of chocolate chunks. Ooh, they're good. Yeah. That's the entire packet. I oh, know. That's not enough. More. Oh. I thought that was literally going to go everywhere then. <gasps> Get your hands off. Baker's privilege. What is right. it? Mix it. Leave it for a second and say. Oh dear. And there is the mixed finished product. Mm. Now, the recipe asks for three four inch lined ramekin dishes with parchment and we don't have we probably do have ramekin dishes but we thought we'd go with these muffin giant yorkshire pudding muffin cases so i've got some normal oh. cupcake wrappers and then i'll squish them down but we're going to make four we're not going to make three you know divide it between that that sounds good yeah let's just make it quick look all done we're going to pop these in the oven, so it needs to go in the oven for 15 minutes um, at gas mark, well, gas mark? What, gas mark. what am I? Gas mark. How old am I? Um, it says 375 Fahrenheit, which in UK terms is 190 Celsius. So I'm going to put these in the oven for 15 minutes and then let it cool. In it goes. So the cookies are out of the oven. Excuse the noise in the background. David is cooking our dinner. We are having an American themed night. We are having um, our own KFC. So here's the cookies. Let me show you. They look so good. Excuse all the mess right now. And David's cider. So here are the num num cookies. Sorry, my filming is atrocious. Here are the lovely num num cookies. Just ignore that over there. You blinked, you missed it. We didn't really make two batches because we forgot the other, the first one. Did we? Mm. <coughs> yeah. We might have forgotten the first batch was in the oven because we got preoccupied. We had to make batch number two and this time we set a timer. So they look amazing. These ones, not so much. Let's show you what David's cooking. I think you've seen it before in a vlog already though. Look. We've got some KFC, some beans, and I make some gravy. Yummy. Just got a cup of tea. I love this mug. A nice cup of green tea, just what the doctor ordered. But now, for the piece de la resistance, just like that, we're going to have our Jack Jack Nom Nom cookies. Time for cookie goodness. How amazing does that look? Oh, 
I can't bite it. It's got paper on it. Mmm. <laughs> Like a cross between a cake and a cookie. Um, a what? A mucky. That doesn't make sense. A cake and a cookie. It would just be a, a khaki. A cookie? A khaki. <laughs> no, it's not cack, it's nice. Mmm. I think it's the same sort of thing. I can't remember. Might be if it was warm. You need to take me back to Disney World. Come on, Joe. I'm ba I'm Joe and Biden. <laughs> Joe and Boris. Let me back into the US. Mm, this is good. Don't go and watch Greys. Good morning. Happy Sunday morning. It's um, just before 10 o'clock and we are heading out already because we are going to visit David's grandma. We have not seen her for the best part of 18, 19 months, I think. Um, was it Christmas last time we saw her, last December? Before lockdown? So that's yeah. a very, very long time ago. Um, I'm going to go and pick up Crazy Grandad and then head over to Leeds. She lives quite close to Leeds Bradford Airport. Um, and go for some yummy fish and chips aren't we yeah can't wait we're so excited to go and see her really really looking forward to it so we will take you with us so we have just come to the weatherby whaler for some fish and chips the restaurant opened at about half past 11 but this was where harry ramson's used to be the weatherby whaler Okay. <laughs> Hello there. Some lovely fish and chips. It's not busy in here at the minute. There are a couple of people eating already. I love it in here. I love the sort of like grandeur of it. There's a grand piano over there. And it does get played on this afternoon. And then we've got a table just over here. Yeah, that's yours. Cheers, good cup of tea. I'm hungry now, I want my chips. They're coming. Dinner has arrived. How good are these fish chips look? And some battered sausage over there. A lovely meal at the Weatherby Whaler. Did you enjoy yours? Yeah. And what have you got now? Harry's been given a aeroplane. Paper, 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 paper airplane. Paper like a Yeah, it's like yeah. a, a flying, version. flying aeroplane, yeah. So that food was lovely. So full now. Ooh, going to head back to really? Grandma's house and yeah. having another cup of tea. Two, one, go. Back from Grandma's now, but we're just heading out for a little walk. I feel like all cooped up after being in that car for an hour and a half. Aren't we? Yeah, actually, two hours was on our way. That on our way back. Yeah, so obviously it was about an hour and 10 minutes, 20 minutes each way. You know what I'm like, I need to get out. So we're just heading for a walk to the pub. So that's something we do very often. Sorry about the lawn mowers. It's cutting a grass day today. So we're just gonna go ahead to the pub for a quick drink. Can't make up my mind if it's gonna be really busy or not. So obviously everyone's gonna be watching the football tonight. Right, so fo not football yet. Yeah. Not till eight o'clock. Got plenty of time. That's when it starts. Okay, that's like it starts when I go to bed, so that's... Yeah, so we're just heading there now. Just fingers crossed, it doesn't rain. Drinks have arrived. 
good job I ordered some tonic because I just ordered the gin and then last minute I thought to order the tonic. So I have got black currant blackberry gin. Cheers. That's really good. Air time Harry on the obstacle course. Ready, steady, go. And he's off. Oh, when he has to crumble, go across the wibbly wobbly bridge, cross the ropes. See if he can make it. And that was 26 seconds. Seriously? Mm. 26 seconds. Whoa! 26 seconds. Back from the pub now, I'm going to sit down and have a bit of a picky tea. We always do when we have fish and chips at Grandma's house. Some cheese and crackers, some sausage rolls, I've got some Spanish omelette. Perfect way to end the weekend. So that's going to be it for today's vlog. Um, thanks for watching, just a quick catch up with us at the weekend. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. Leave some comments down below because I love the hearing from you and I love having those big thumbs up. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye!